Hello Collaborate Elaborate, uh, it's Charlie and um, I'm here to update you on my life. So the September of 2013 I um, started attending Bethel School of Supernatural Ministry in Northern California um, which is a Christian ministry school um, and had just the best time of my life there um, and I was there for three years. I just met so many people um, from you know different parts of the world. The school was pretty much 50% um, international students, 50% domestic students and um, just had such an amazing time there. I uh, met a lot of really amazing people and people that I'm going to be in contact with for the rest of my life. Did a lot of cool stuff there, um, you know, just got to learn more about God, deepen my relationship with God um, in a way that I never thought was possible um, and just, yeah, really just enriched my life, I suppose. So while I was there, I discovered that I, I really enjoy working with children and that actually, yeah, the, because I'm quite a childlike person, I actually connect with kids really well. And so uh, while I was there, I was doing a lot of kids ministry uh, where we would just, you know, we'd have like a, we did like a Sunday school in this neighborhood um, and it was really cool. We got to see kids kind of grow in their relationship with God and, and just really encourage them and, um, you know, really just tell them how amazing they are to encourage them because I think kids need a lot of that these days. Also while I was there I ended up going on a lot of like ministry trips and things like that. Um, one of them was to the Philippines which was amazing. Um, so now I've been to the only, the only continents I haven't been to are obviously the two poles, Australia and Africa. Yeah so that was cool. Um, it was really cool to be there and yeah I met a lot of people in the Philippines and it's, it was just a really great time for me, I guess, yeah, just, you know, for my personal growth. So that was really, really good. In my third year at Bethel, I ended up being mentored by a guy called Cornelius Quek, who is uh, a, well, he runs a ministry, basically. Part of his ministry is he runs community houses where um, Christians can kind of live together and grow together and, um, be, like, be a blessing to their community. And so I was part of that, and I basically led a house for a year and also did some preaching training with him, uh, which was amazing and really kind of set me up for what I'm doing now in, in my church back home. Uh, so yeah, I am now back home in the UK and uh, have been for about a year now, uh, just over a year, by a few months maybe. And, and it, it's good, you know, I, I'm involved quite heavily in, in my church life and I currently just applied for a job as a radio presenter on a Christian radio station, which is really, really awesome and I'm really excited to see if that goes anywhere. Whilst at Bethel as well, I, I started my own podcast, which um, I love, I love podcasting. Uh, I, have a, I have a love of podcasts myself. Um, I listen to quite a lot of them. Uh, being back home, it's been a bit more difficult with it because um, I've not really had as many people kind of readily available. When you're living in, in a house of 10 guys, you know, it's, it's really easy to go, hey, you should be on the podcast, or you should be on the podcast, you know. Um, but now it's not so much that easy. But I, I still get my friends involved, which is good fun. Um, yeah, so that, that's, that's been really good. I've just been kind of figuring out what the next step of my life is really over the last year. Um, and I'm doing an English degree in September, which is gonna be really good because Bethel wasn't university, it was just a ministry school. So now I'm gonna do some uh, real educations and uh, yeah. <laughs> We'll see, but I'm really excited for that. I think that's going to be amazing. And if I can do it like with this part-time radio job as well, it's going to be a wicked year. I'm really excited for that. So currently, I am running uh, music sessions. At my, my auntie runs like a kids club and a nursery that you know over the summer when um, you know parents have to go to work, they can drop their kids off and they can play there and meet friends and stuff. So I'm doing some music sessions there, just kind of really inspire kids in music. And and I'm still doing music, still writing songs, um, which I, I again. I love. I've been doing a lot of gigs recently and getting paid for them as well, so that's been really good. Um, and yeah, just that's kind of it's kind of me right now, to be honest. Um, uh, Katie, that was super brave of you to share about your abortion. Like that's um, that such a yeah such a critical issue, I think, right now. And um, so I, I'm glad that you're kind of feeling better about yourself and because um, that's like I'm sure that's not a fun thing to go through so as well I don't know if you guys remember I used to have dogs I don't remember how many dogs I had when I was on I think maybe we just had fudge but um, yeah unfortunately we had to put him down last summer um, he wasn't very well and uh, yeah so 
so I, I, I feel your <laughs> I feel you there Shelby with uh, Jazz that you had to put your dog down that's, that's rubbish so uh, anyway that's me uh, hope you guys are all doing well and um, uh, yeah 